everybody! Thank you for clicking on my video. My name is June Jefferson and I want to talk about MCM bags. So if you've had a chance, I do have the video up that tells the story about my first MCM purchase. This video will be about the second bag in my collection. I bought this bag in 2016. So if you watched my first video, you know that I was in the commuter lifestyle a uh, really big time then and the first bag wasn't big enough so I made sure my second bag was going to be big enough. Now the bag that I saw the most carried was the Vicetos Liz tote and I didn't want that because I saw everyone else had it and I wanted something different. <laughs> so I chose this bag from the MCM Worldwide website. It's called the Vicetos shoulder bag. And here it is. As you can see, it's considerably larger than the first purchase. <laughs> so when I saw this listed on the MCM's uh, website, it was listed for $1,095. And I like to get a good deal. I like being a smart shopper. I consider myself kind of frugal and I want the most bangs out of my bucks. So I went on eBay and I also found the same bag listed for $895. So a bit of a savings there. But this was only my second bag. I was still new to the MCM brand. There's a lot of fakes and replicas out there and I definitely didn't wanna be spending my good money on a fake bag. So I ordered the $895 bag from eBay, $895 bag from eBay. I took a chance. I wanted to see if it was real and it had a return policy. So I thought that it was a safe uh, risk. So when the bag came, it, it was this bag. It looked good. It felt good. My only issue with it that made me super skeptical was that on the inside of the bag here in the zipper, as you can see, it has the little white tag. And let me see if the camera will capture it. It says made in Italy, as in I-T-E-R-Y. And it made all my alarm bells go off, warning bells go off, because I was like, is this bag fake? And did they misspell Italy? Like clearly they misspelled Italy. Like what the freak is going on? So like I said, it had a return policy. So to verify things for myself, I ordered the same bag from the MCM Worldwide website. When that bag came, I totally expected this little white tag to have Italy spelled correctly, I-T-A-L-Y. Um, but much to my super surprise, it was the exact same way. So I was like, okay, this is kind of crazy, but dang. And everything else on the bag checked out. I've done a little bit of website, a little bit of homework on the internet to try to, that gives you tips and hints on how to tell real MCM from fake MCM and things like that. And everything else on this bag checked out. So I returned the one from MCM Worldwide and I kept the one from eBay because I had proved to myself that it was genuine and I had nothing to worry about. So that was how I came to get this one. So it, it does carry on the shoulder. The straps are leather and I haven't even like truly broke this bag in. It still has a lot of stiffness to it, a lot of newness still. The sides are also leather as is the bottom with the lovely feet, as you can see. I like it when my handbags have feet. I don't know, it's just like that little extra little nice thing that it's a nice touch. It does have the logo stamp here, the studs. This one has the gold logo plate. This here on the front is also a pocket, which is handy. It has the zipper closure across the top. And nothing on the back, it's just plain on the back. 
I'll take the bag measurements for you. This bag is fairly large. It's really good for traveling 15 inches across. It's 10 inches from top to bottom. and six inches deep. So like I said, a really pretty big bag. I think the things I like about it the most are that it's really spacious. It has that zippered pocket on the inside. And of course the two flat pockets. And it's quite large. As you can see, you can carry a lot. And then it has that secure zipper across the top. If you want to zip it shut and the zipper snaps down with these magnetic flaps. Again, with the details, MCM is all about the details and quality, which is why I really like this brand. Other than also me telling you what the brand represents in the first video. So my least favorite things about this bag would be that it carries really wide. So when I have it on, the width of it against my body and the fact that these are, it's really stiff construction, so there isn't a lot of give. So it, there's no give. It doesn't really hug your body. It stands alone. So I tend to find that usually when I carry this bag and I go to a crowded place like what maybe Walmart would be the best example for a crowded place, but people tend to bump into the bag, which kind of gets on my nerves. Um, other than that, it doesn't really have any cons. I'd say that's the only one. You can also carry it in the crook of your elbow. Just depends how much stuff I decide to carry in it. Like I said, it can get pretty heavy. I've taken it on um, road trips in the car where I don't really have to carry it all that much. But yeah, this is my second purchase. It's the Visetos Cognac shoulder bag. So I hope you like this video. Please feel free to find me on Instagram. I am Miss June, as in M1SSJUNE. I'll have a few shots of me wearing the bag so that you can see what it looks like on and if you're interested in seeing what kind of outfits that I wear with it. One reason I do love these bags is because this caramel tan color, it goes with everything. It's a neutral, so I don't have to worry about is my bag going to clash with my outfit? It goes with everything. And I don't like changing my bags all the time, so I like to just be able to grab and go. Uh, yeah, please leave me a comment. I want to meet my fellow MCM bag lovers. That would be fun. So until then, look forward to my next video, which will be about the third bag in my collection. So until then, everybody, stay safe and stay stunning.